to you about diet and exercise. That is very important. That balance of getting the right exercise for the, what you're eating is important to avoid cancer. Well, we have other things too that helps you to avoid cancer. We know that too much animal products increase the risk of cancer. The International Agency for Cancer Research has said you should never eat processed meat. It causes too much intestinal cancer. You shouldn't even eat the, the uh, red meats. That causes intestinal cancer. And Dr. Gary Fraser, a New Zealand doctor out of Loma Linda University, has made a study that even the white meats, the fish, and the chicken increases intestinal cancer risk just as much as the red meats do. So we have the problem of overweight. That's the diet and exercise problem. We have the problem of the animal products. We have the problem of alcohol. Next to tobacco, alcohol is the greatest carcinogen we have. And there's no level at which alcohol doesn't increase cancer risk. We gotta avoid all that alcohol. Now, what other, what other things are there? More fruits and vegetables. The people who eat the most fruits and vegetables compared to those who eat the least have only half as much cancer, okay? Women who jog, for example, have lower risk of breast cancer. People who avoid all that meat have lower risk of many cancers, particularly intestinal cancer. If you eat meat once a week, you have two and a half times greater risk of colon cancer than, than the uh, vegetarian does. What about milk? Milk and cholesterol, dietary cholesterol, increases the risk of colon cancer, increases the risk of prostate cancer and ovary cancer. Two to four eggs a week double the risk of ovary cancer. But prostate cancer is increased by calcium coming from milk or calcium supplements. We should try to keep that calcium level down. And so milk does help to lower some other cancers, but for prostate cancer, it increases the risk.